C, C++, and C Sharp, three languages that share a similar name, but each was created in a different era for a different purpose. From the oldest to the most modern, let's break down what makes each of these languages unique. Let's start with C. C was created in 1972 by Dennis Ritchie at Bell Labs. It was designed for writing the Unix operating system, and it became one of the most influential programming languages ever made. Why influential? Because almost every modern language, from C++, Java, and Python, to Go and Rust, took inspiration from C's syntax or structure. For decades, universities around the world taught C as the first language in computer science courses because it gives students direct control over how a computer works. C is considered close to assembly, which means the code translates almost directly into the machine's own instructions. That makes programs written in C run extremely fast with little overhead. That's why C is still used today in operating systems, embedded devices, and hardware drivers. The Linux kernel, for example, is written in C. It's also used in automotive systems, medical equipment, and even some game engines where efficiency is critical. Now, let's move on to C++. C++ was first developed in 1979 by Bjorn Strustrup at Bell Labs. At the time, he wanted to add object-oriented programming to the C language, so he called his project C with Classes. A few years later, in 1985, it was officially released to the public as C++ along with his book, The C++ Programming Language. On a personal note, I started my basics course in university with C++. I didn't realize it at the time, but it gave me a strong foundation that made learning other languages much easier. And that's true for many developers. Starting with C or C++ builds a backbone that makes learning higher level languages much easier. C++ is widely used in game development, browsers like Chrome, high-performance applications like Photoshop, large-scale systems, and even financial trading platforms. Basically, anywhere you need speed and efficiency combined with complex features, you'll find C++. Finally, let's talk about C Sharp. C Sharp was developed by Microsoft in 2000 as part of the .NET Framework. .NET Framework is Microsoft's platform that gives C Sharp developers ready-made tools and libraries to build apps faster and more safely. Unlike C or C++, C Sharp was designed to be modern, safe, and easier to use while still powerful. C Sharp adds features like automatic memory management, garbage collection, and type safety, which reduce common errors developers make in C or C++. It's heavily used in enterprise applications, Windows software, and game development with Unity. For example, the hit game Among Us. Among Us. Back in university, I even built a small face recognition project in C-sharp using OpenCV, which showed me how simple yet powerful the language can be. You'll also find C-sharp in real-world systems like ATMs, where the interface we see on the screen is most of the time just a Windows application running on the machine's operating system. So, to sum it up, C is the foundation, fast, powerful, and close to the hardware. C++ builds on that foundation with more features, making it perfect for complex, performance-heavy software. C Sharp modernizes the family, giving developers safer and faster ways to build apps, especially in the Windows and gaming worlds. They may share the same letter, but C, C++, and C Sharp each play a very different role in programming history, and learning even one of them can give you a huge advantage as a developer. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next deep dive.